Hello and welcome to another week of energy readings. The week we are looking at is the week from September the 18th through to the 24th. We have a new moon in Virgo on the 20th uh, this week and we have the autumn equinox on the 22nd and we will have to have a look uh, how much the new energy, as it were, um, will affect us all. So before we go into the, the star signs, we have an, uh, a look at the overall energy for the week ahead. Okay. <laughs> I say it the way it is. This week, it's really important for all of us to make sure that we keep um, space, that we make sure that, that we are um, in our strengths and that we, we make, we make um, our space, your personal space, as safe and as protected as possible. Um, because this week, many, many of us people will very likely be misunderstood. Uh, so it's going to be a bit of a, of a difficult week. And what it means is when, when I say you have to make your space um, safe, it just means that you have to um, be sure that you're in your strengths and, uh, and, and speak your truth, speak your convictions, uh, because the truth needs no defense. Um, so that's just uh, things to remember. And we will see now when we go into the star signs if, if there's going to be um, um, a difficult week ahead or not. We'll see, we're starting in, in Virgo, and then next week we will start with Libra, because we're moving into the star sign on Sunday. Um, so here is Virgo. Sorry, this one fell out. Oops, can't have them all. Yeah. For Virgo people, it is um, almost the same as the overall energy. Uh, make sure that your space is, is safe, that you're in your strengths, and that you speak your truth. Uh, but also, try to be in your softer side. You have the bear, which is a uh, representative of, of everything feminine, um, and you wouldn't, you wouldn't mess with a bear. So if you are in your softer self, um, you can still make a lot of, of difference when you speak your truth, but it doesn't come across as um, forceful. And that's what you really need to watch out for this, this, this week, is um, to avoid uh, conversations that are probably tedious and uh, that you know are going to be tedious, or going over the same stuff again and again and again. Um, it's not a good idea this week. Okie doke, so that's Virgo, Virgo going into Libra. Here we go. Two cards fell out, so we're going to take them in. It's a slight pattern emerging. Um, there's another bear here, so that also means to be in your softer side. But also remember how much strength you have. But you also have um, a, a caribou, which is an animal with antlers. And every time you have an, have, have an animal with antlers, you're quite protected to speak your truth. And also, the caribou is, 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 is a, uh, an animal that is really massive and very, um, very strong. So that's, that's again, again, like I said, there's, there's a little bit of a pattern here where you have to be in your strengths. Um, and you don't have to be aggressive at all. Remember, you're fully protected, so, so you don't have to fight for anything. Um, but just, just make sure, nonetheless, to stay in your softer side. So that's just a Libra. And um, so again, like, like we have every week, um, all of a sudden there are these emerging patterns already, which makes sense because you have a, a specific kind of energy, let's just say, for a specific time or space in, in, in time. So that, that, that makes sense. So we're moving into Scorpio now. Moving into Scorpio. Right. For the Scorpios, this week um, there will be times where you feel like you're not being understood, you, where you feel like I'm losing a bit of ground here somehow. And um, what you need to remember is that you can adapt to situations very well. So this week you have to be really, um, what's the word, you have to be really willing uh, to, to adapt to situations. Uh, don't pick fights, <laughs> not going to end well this week. Um, so try to keep the peace. 
this 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 week that doesn't mean you have to always completely back down if that makes sense but um, try to say things from from a higher point of view uh, speak your truth from 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 a point of knowing that your truth is how you feel your truth that's really really important um, but you will uh, this week be asked to uh, to adapt to situations okay doc so that's uh, that's Scorpio going into Sagittarius For Sagittarius this week, you need um, a lot of me time. So what you need this week is to be uh, uh, to, to be independent, uh, do your own thing, um, be the driving force in your own life. That's really really important. And remember how important you really are in the scheme of things. So don't let anyone talk down on you or make you feel less. It's really important this week to to um, to be. Um, in that area and in that space where you where you really acknowledge your self worth, that's really really important. And that's all we got for the Sagittarius. Moving into Capricorn. Oh, and there's more cards than usual for the Capricorn. Interesting. You have the dove, the butterfly and fish. And so what that really what means for Capricorn is that this week, um, remember your divine power. And remember that, um, you know, that you're actually quite a peace-loving person. And it is important to keep that peace because, especially this week, you are actually ready for transformation. You are also ready to really move on from stuff that is no longer for you. So reflect on things that are no longer for you and then make sure that you act accordingly and preferably actually leave them. There's loads of stuff that you will notice this week that you have tried to fix for a long time or that you have tried to sort of keep in your life for a long time, if you know what I mean. And um, it's time to re-reflect on these things and really see, are they really working for me? And if not, let them go and make space for something else. That's really, really important. Okay, doc. And now we're going into Aquarius. Again, I can see clear patterns to, to the things I said for other star signs already. For Aquarius, um, you have birds in plural, which means these things from a higher point of view. Detach yourself slightly before you, before you um, engage in conversations, especially in, in um, serious stuff. Always have a look at who, who is causing the issue here. Is this a question I've been asked be before? Are they only asking um, and expecting a specific answer, that kind of thing? So make sure you uh, do detach yourself slightly this week uh, before you react to uh, to any demands on you. And then it's important um, to make sure that you speak your truth. Um, don't be too kind, if that makes sense. Don't just smile at situations and then, you know, uh, do them. Make sure that if you feel this isn't right, um, to speak your truth. That's really, really important. And also remember your strengths. You know your stuff. So when people talk to you, they have to talk to you with respect because you, you deserve it. Okay? So that was Aquarius going into Pisces. There we go. Okay. For Pisces this week, um, I said that last week, I suppose, in, in a roundabout way, because I'm Pisces. Um, I said last week that we have to keep going. And, um, and this week, it's, it's sort of the same for, for many Pisces. Um, we're not really ready yet for uh, proper new beginnings. We're not really ready yet for, um, or, uh, to, to pretend we're fully healed. We have to go through more healing this week. So um, look around you. It's really important this week to pay attention to situations around you. You will probably see a lot of stuff in writing. What my guides give me at this point in time is, is sort of, you know, 
Facebook man stuff in writing where 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 quotes uh, um, that people have made over 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 the millennia um, will probably make a lot of sense for 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 you and me. Um, so pay attention to what comes to you, um, and remember you are not ready um, for for proper new beginnings. So so let this be a calm week where you where you have where you, where you don't have to make any um, massive uh, decisions. All right, that's our spices going into Aries. Aries, you're lucky. <laughs> this week you have um, the rabbit and the fox. And the idea is that you can therefore this week go explore. Explore um, how happy you are. If there's uh, something you have thought about, like, oh, maybe I should do um, a change in career, um, go for a new language, that kind of thing. Um, research, do your research this week, really. And then really go for it and trust that you can achieve anything. It's really important this week not to be in doubt. Don't live in doubt, don't live in fear. It's usually what holds you back, so it's not a, it's not a great idea. You will be perfectly fine this week um, not to blindly follow stuff, but if anything, if anything comes to you where you feel like, well, that sounds interesting, then, then go and explore it, by all means. And you will very likely not be disappointed at all, because you clearly have to wrap it, which means you don't know how deep the rabbit hole goes. And it is a way of, of being encouraged by the guides to try new things and, and maybe find a new leg to stand on and, um, and be happier uh, in yourself. Because remember, when you're happy in, in yourself, then you attract also that energy to you. Okay? So that was just Aries going into Taurus now. And I'm drawn to a different deck. So Taurus people this week, um, you have to take things easy, you have to be gentle, there's a lot of strength in, in, in gentleness, and you need to monitor your energy, you need to pay attention to your breathing, especially this week, pay attention to your breathing, what is it that upsets you, Where, when do you lose your cool, this kind of thing, um, what is it that annoys you, if that makes sense, so every time you feel like mm, that's not quite right, Stop there for a moment, sit with it, rather than um, act on it or be annoyed about it. Just sit with it and really find out what is it that actually triggers um, this um, slight upset inside you. That's really, really important. Um, and stay gentle this week, stay calm, and, um, uh, and above all, uh, monitor your energy. Don't let anyone weigh you down this week. Okay? That was Taurus. So as you can see, before we move on to, to Gemini, there's quite a bit of a, of a, of a, of a pattern here with regards to um, being really strong but calm. And so I think because the energy is changing this week, maybe it's a good idea, therefore, that we all do things slower, if that makes sense, and, and probably a bit more, more conscious. Right? So moving into Gemini... Gemini have got nothing to worry about this week, um, as long as you make sure that you are uh, your leader, that you are the, the, the person you can fully be. So if you are in your strengths this week, um, no one's going to mess with you, if that makes sense. You have a lot of protection here because you have the elk and the timber wolf. And so again, you have an animal with antlers here. And, um, uh, and also uh, uh, an animal that, that, that responds very well to, to sunrise and sunset. So uh, try to, to um, avoid being chased by things and people during the day. Um, you know, don't, don't deal with deadlines this week. And if you have to deal with them, then deal with them on your own merit, in your own terms, and tell the people to back off, because you got this. So that's, uh, that sort of scenario is important. So um, make yourself heard this week, and make sure that people understand how you conduct yourself in, in life. So that they can um, respond to you 
accordingly. Right? But other than that, you really have nothing to worry about because you have quite um, powerful protective uh, animal guides. And, and therefore, uh, there is in all likelihood, you will attract very little real problems this week. Right? So here's the luck and hope. <laughs> Going into Cancerians. See what the Cancerians have got. Right. So the Cancerians have the dog and the punter. And what that really means is that you have to understand that you can't go things alone. You have to be less selfish this week. It's really important. You have to understand that you are part of a, of a society, part of a group of people, for instance, and that you have to, um, like anybody else, service them uh, in, in that sense. So, so being your be, kindness is really important for the Cancerians this week. And also, um, you have the punter, which is basically a leopard uh, hiding in, in, <laughs> inside, a, inside a punter. So um, speak your truth. Uh, don't hide yourself, and 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 because you're in this service mode where you where you give people um, some of your loyalty, um, it makes it easier for other people, therefore, to then relate to you. And maybe you should take some advice this week, or at least ask for for some. So don't go things alone this week. Really, really important for you this week to to not go things alone and to be in in a ser in a service kind of mode, in a, in a, in, a, in a way where you try to accommodate people unless it really clashes with your with your core beliefs. Um, so that's that's really important. So that's the Cancerians taken care of and now we're going into the final uh, sign for this week which is Leo. And like I said next week um, on, on Sunday this week we're moving into Libra if I'm not mistaken. So so uh, next video will start with actually Libra then. Right? Tough luck to the Virgos and Leos because now you come last if that, if that makes sense. So anyway here's the Leo. Last star sign for today. Okay, for the Leos this week, it's important to remember that some people want to misunderstand you. And there are people that think, or might think, you're actually responsible for something you probably didn't even do, um, or, uh, you know, there's something wrong with you at times, so they don't, they don't really quite get you. And they're not really stopping to listen to, to uh, and, and, and observe who you truly are. And what you need to remember this, this week, that it, this is none of your concern. You can't control how people see you. You can't control how people react to you. All you can do is be in your strengths. And, and you have the frog here, which is an amphibian. You can live on land and water. So the analogy is that you will do fine. No matter what life throws at you this week, you will be fine. So don't, um, don't justify. Uh, things this week. Don't justify anything you do as long as you do it from the heart and and um, and you feel that what you're doing is not against. Um, let's just say you work somewhere and, and they have these regulations. If you work within these regulations that you agree to, um, you can still be flexible within. So don't justify uh, all, all, all that much. And certainly, um, if you feel you're not doing any any damage, any harm, then do not apologize because people don't want to hear your apologies. If that makes sense. They just want you to be different <laughs> and, uh, and you don't have to oblige because you are who you are, right? So that was Leo and that's all we have time for and I'll see you all in a week.